In this video, I'm going to show you the 7 side hustles that you can start as a student. I wish someone had showed me some different side hustles that I can start earlier when I was a younger student. And that's why I put so much work to create this video, to do research and for my experience to show you different side hustles you can start as a student and make money from. So make sure you pay attention and stick around to the end of the video. The first side also is the one that you can see me doing right now, YouTube content creation. So if you are someone that you can sit down in front of camera like this and talk to people and teach people about different things, maybe you share advice or you create comedy, funny videos or educational videos, cooking videos, yeah, different type of videos you can create on YouTube or tutorials then YouTube content creation is for you. There are a very wide variety of things you can do on YouTube. There's education, there's entertainment, there's gaming, and so on and so forth. But if you want to grow on YouTube, you must produce quality videos that people will learn from, people will be interested in, and they want to watch. And also, you must be consistent with your video. You must be consistent in posting videos. That's the way you can grow on YouTube and make money on the side. Now, YouTube content creation takes time. It's not one of those side also that you can just start and the next three months or six months you're already making money from. But it pays off on the long run. So if you are someone that at least you are a student, maybe you come back from lectures and then you have the rest of the day, you can just take your time, one hour a day, create content on YouTube. And YouTube is not the only platform you can create content on. There are different platforms you can choose to create on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, or any other platform of your choice. So content creation generally is a good side also that you can start as a student. Number two, freelance writing. If you are a writer or you are someone that likes writing, then you can earn money as a freelance writer. There are different platforms that you can sell your skills and get paid as a writer. For example, we have Fiverr, we have Upwork, we have People Power, and we have social media platforms too, like LinkedIn and other platforms where you can sell your skills as a writer and get paid. Now, you can write different things. There's copywriting, you can write copies for businesses, you can write blog posts, you can write email newsletters, and so on and so forth. And also, freelance writing will help you to develop your writing skills. If you are getting jobs and you are getting experience, then it will help you to become a better writer and earn more money on the long run. Also, make sure that you keep on developing yourself, developing your skill as a freelance writer. So, you buy books, you buy courses, you watch tutorial videos on YouTube, or you just keep learning to get better on your skill. And the more better you are in your skill, the more money you tend to make. Number three, tutoring. Now, if you're an EWE or you are very good at a particular subject, let's say mathematics, then you can teach other students, help them to improve their mathematics and get better grades. And also, you can get paid for it. Some people will criticize you and tell you that, uh uh, why are you collecting money for ordinary subject? Doesn't matter. It's the same thing teachers are doing. They are teaching students and they are getting paid for it. So, there's nothing wrong if you are good at a skill or a subject, you can make money from it. Don't listen to what other people might be saying. And also, when you teach others, you get better for yourself because you understand the subject even better. Number four, graphic design. I know a friend, a very close friend of mine, who earns nothing less than 10,000 naira. That's about $10 for a design. So, is very good at graphic design. He helps businesses to design graphics, to design logos, flyers, and banners, and he gets paid for it. So, if you are someone that you are good at graphic design or you are interested in it, then you can learn how to design graphics because businesses will always need designs for social media, even YouTube like this. You need design for thumbnail, for posts, for blog posts, for flyers. So. Graphic design is a good skill and if you are very good at it, make sure you are very good at your skill, you are very good at your craft, then you will earn a lot of money from it. Number five, video editing. Now, this is also a very good one. As you are watching this video, 
I'm still going to edit this video as I'm filming right now. So video editing is a good skill because there are different things that need a video editor, right? For posts, any video you see online has been edited by a video editor. There are different video editing platforms that you can start with to learn. You can even start with just your phone. If you have CapCut or Filmora or VLLO, you can edit some very nice videos on your phone. TikTok videos, reels, um, documentary, comedy videos, whatever it is, and then you get paid for it. So you can start learning video editing if that's what you are interested in. And then later on along the line, you will definitely need a laptop because you're going to need to use professional video editing softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro, like After Effects, and so on. You can earn as much as hundred dollars. That's hundred thousand naira per client if you are very good at your skill. Number six is WhatsApp reselling. Now, this one is a very common one. A lot of people sell on WhatsApp and you can sell basically anything. So WhatsApp reselling, most times it involves you getting products from a supplier and then you resell it on your WhatsApp status to your own audience and you make your money so there are different stuffs you can sell on whatsapp like clothes shoes bags perfume whatever it is you just get a supplier right and then you start sharing it on your status share pictures videos about the product and you get your audience people that view your status they will buy from you so if you have been thinking about selling on whatsapp before and considering it then maybe this is the time that you should actually get started because WhatsApp selling is actually fun and a lot of people make a lot of money from it. If you are good at it, I know how to gain contact, gain audience because you must be getting new, new people to view your status. So the more status viewers you have, the more money you can potentially make. So number seven, which is the final one, is blogging. Now, blogging is like the highest rated out of all of these seven that I've mentioned. And why is that? It's because with blogging, you can make money more than any of the other six I've mentioned earlier. So blogging is very lucrative. So if you don't know what blogging is, blogging simply means you writing down articles or writing down posts about a topic. So for example, if you type on Google search how to lose weight or how to make money online, those things that come up, those searches that come up are called blogs. Now, when you click on any of them to read, you are going to be seeing some advertisements on the blog. So as you are scrolling, you'll be seeing adverts, different adverts here and there. Now, Google is going to be paying that blog for those advertisements, right? So that's the way blogging actually works. And you can make a lot of money from blogging. But the only thing is that it takes a lot of time before you can rank. Because you have to rank your blog to the first page, right? Where people will actually see. And the more people that sees your blog, sees your articles and read it, the more money you can potentially make. So blogging is very difficult. It takes a lot of time. You have to learn how to do keyword research, how to design a website, how to write articles, how to do SEO optimization. You have to learn a lot of things before you can actually build a successful blog that ranks to the first page or second page where you can be getting traffic. So blogging is very difficult, but it's also very, very nice if you can get it right. So that is it. I've come to the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now note that for some of these side hustles, it takes longer time before you can start making money from them. For some of them, you can start making money under three months or four months. And others it might take you one year, six months, or even two years before you can start making money from them. So whichever one you choose, just make sure you dedicate yourself to it and definitely you will see results. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And if there's any other side also you feel like I should have mentioned in this video, please comment it down below what side also do you think I have not mentioned and that other students will see. Please comment down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel 
for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one